development system requires effort from me and you. So I ask you, in what area do you intend to develop your community to make it a place of habitation? Welcome to another episode of Lagos Community Updates. I am Ade Joker Shoda in the Adenyoju. How is your community faring today? Let's see. The 1599 masterpiece of William Shakespeare, Much Ado About Nothing, captures the story of Obawale community and their over a decade ago struggle with the management of Ikeja Electric. I packed down to Obawale in 1998. Getting here, I don't know, I cannot call that one electricity supply. People can witness it. I've never seen. Any BU they brought to that Iju Tiajo Jari. The journey started like that. We wanted to do disrupt many things in Obawale. Whenever we want to chow down, I will say, God will tell me, leave it. There is solution already. Where is the solution? But when he started laughing to us, I said, I hear the voice again. There is solution. Uh -uh. Solution? Okay. We started laughing. Let's hear from you. That was the beginning of this journey. I was on the pulpit. When I saw the, you know, I saw something on my phone when I was giving someone. When I saw a Ginadi Lapu, I raised a song. Hey, Badura, I quickly went to the point. I did not kill I said, I did not have to say, oh, today, transfer, uh, step down here today. It is a glory today. It is a glory for Bawale. It is a glory for Nipata. It is a glory for K Farm. Because Bobo Wala Jojiye, we all suffer this thing together. The first time he came here, he said it. Ah, only Bobo anymore. Only only better control. Only better go back to sit alone with me. I never want to allow my shit to meet at one. Only shall step down here. We are the more the show. I need my shit and shake all the pony no no. For the past twenty thirty years, for four hours, six hours since I packed down to Obawale. I've never experienced electricity for 12 hours. Solely 12 hours. Non-stop. Thank God today, sir. And God will continue to bless you, sir. These group of people are majorly artisans, petty traders, and retirees. So it will not be out of place to say Obawale's fate hanged on constant electricity supply for its members to survive. But it's usually a case of audio candle at night for the people. Maybe 20 years back to this area, there is no light. Everything just gets tired as if we don't even have anybody in the run. But for now, the light that we have from how many months to this time is okay for me. Even my work is moving higher more than before. Because the time that there is no light, we can't do anything. But for now, the light is okay. Everywhere is all right. It took the effort of the 50 communities domiciled in Obawale area of Ifakoeja, a local government, to tilt Ikeja Electrics in the direction. We started this struggle sometimes 19, I mean 2007, precisely. But down 2013, the one they brought earlier, we didn't use it for 30, 30 minutes. Then we decided to go haywire. Fortunately for us, this year, 2019, we said we're going to shut down the whole transformer, about 25 transformers in our community because we are not enjoying light. We only have light. The highest time we'll have light is just four hours. So we decided we don't need NEPA again. We don't need this light again. So we wrote a letter to them and also printed a pamphlet, a pamphlet that we're going to shut it down. But one Mr. Adelaku, the new business manager, came around, said that he will help us out. So he said he will give us prepaid beta and he will improve the light. So we started dialoguing with him. We do go to his office almost every day. Fortunately for us, the man is able to achieve this now. As with every development story, 
Members of Obawale have gone through the pain, and now is the gain. You know, in this community, we have artisans, like welders. Some of them have packed up before. But I'm telling you, for about two weeks now, they have started coming in. Then the mechanics, the elders that, that use these lights, even those who mold their block, ice block, they are coming in now. As a matter of fact, our rent is going up. Because the shops that people were taking before, we have to increase light because we have light now. So for that, people are coming in. You can see the mechanic association. Welders are here today. Elders association are here today because they are very happy. Even economically, they are, their business improved. Very, very improved. And they confirm to us that they have improved. So we love that one. We are cooperating with each other. Ichaja Electric has built a new injection substation worth 500 million naira, which will enable residents of Obawale community have access to over 15 hours electricity supply from the usual two hours daily. During the commission of the substation, the CEO of Ikeja Electric charged members of Obawale community and its environs to take ownership of the facility provided them. As you are well aware, this is a partnership between Ikeja Electric and the community. So um, in terms of what we expect from the communities, it's just payment and making sure that the investments are safeguarded because where there is destruction to the investments that have been put in by not just Ikeja Electric, any disco, what that means is that the community doesn't enjoy the power that it should get. So we are looking to the communities to help us safeguard and play a role in ensuring that the product gets to the end consumer and that's members of the public. It was time for members of Obawale community to appreciate management of Ikeja Electric for hacking to their demand. You, Your Excellency, services to the community, you have presented this award today, 18th July 2019. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. Lagos is one of the most congested cities in the world. Statistics show that about 40% of vehicles in Nigeria are registered in Lagos. With the ever-busy nature of Lagos routes, commuters spend hours of their productive days in traffic. In a bid to make Lagos road traffic free, Governor Babajide Sonwulu has devised various means of addressing the recurrent traffic on the highways. They will go out and be patching all of the portals. First, he empowered the Lagos State Traffic Management Authority by increasing its allowance to enhance their performance. Second, the governor began the implementation of Lagos traffic laws aimed at maintaining sanity on Lagos roads. But there are rules that need to come, guide and govern all of Among its moves is the ongoing road rehabilitation across the nooks and crannies of the state. This is evident as officials of Lagos State Public Work Corporations are seen on site across the state, filling portals which are a major cause of traffic congestion on the highways. Lagos Community Update pays a duty call to some of these facilities we have visited to see the extent of work done. Agege Local Council Development Area was the first point of call. This area is highly dominated by small and medium scale enterprises, 
contributing their quota to the economic development of the state. Some years back, sometimes our cars get spoiled simply because of the gallops on the road. Because of rainfall and things like that, and uh, flood in the area, the road has been spoiled. There are potholes all over Marcus Road. I want the government to help us in this street, this main road, to repair it. This area is a leak area, so it needs frequent repairs, frequent maintenance. Just like a mother listen and respond to the cry of her little baby, Governor Babajide Sonwolu has yielded to the plea of the people as rehabilitation works have commenced on their roads. Koto, Marcas, Oniwaya, and Capital bus stops. These were major spots where potholes are causing every traffic jam on the roads. About three weeks ago, commuters plying this road experienced agony. They record what they went through on a daily basis. Here, here it was a very deep uh, pothole, very, very deep. This around this, uh, this place, you can see it, just repair it now. Before, it was a hect very hectic. The traffic doesn't flow. You know, there's long, you know, long uh, uh, hold up here before, the, uh, before it was uh, repaired. Before they renovate this, our road, there are a lot of problems concerning this road before you come. Do call many accidents, do call many, a lot of things. Like this time, this past one, <laughs> there will be queue. There will be, there will be block road. Everywhere will be jumped with, with buses and travel uh, and all these commercial users. Thank you to Mr. Sonwolu, our new governor. We really appreciate what he did for us, for taking care of the road, because there's normally traffic, traffic along the two sides, towards Ipaja Road and this Okekutu Junction. So we were, now we are now free. There is no any other up. Now at least it's better, it's level, motor can move freely. And when you are crossing, you are, can be free to cross. At least for now, we have seen their efforts. They are really trying. Most of the portals have been filled now. You see them, even in Shagaro, uh, Iju Road, they are working there. Even in Kedja, Oba, Oba Akra, they are working there. Like other places, I've seen them because they are trying. And our governor is working. Another area I visited was the popular Fagba, Iju Shagaro Road. Located in Ojoko, under Ifakoeja, a local council development area of the state. <laughs> Officials of the Lagos State Public Works Corporation were seen working assiduously to complete the road maintenance project. Road users narrated their experience on the road when it was in bad state. The situation of this place before was so bad. So, in fact, we are suffering the, at this very point, up down to that uh, sanit bank. We used to suffer a lot. When you are coming in the morning, going to work, I think you stay here for almost one hour before you can pass this about 500 meters. When the construction of uh, Penn Cinema overhead bridge started. The, there was road diversion to this end. The number of vehicles plying this road increased drastically. As a result of that, it helps greatly on the road, thereby making it deplorable. The situation was so bad that Vehicles were breaking down regularly on the road. 
They now sing a new song following the meticulous job done by men of the Lagos State Public Works Corporation on the road. Baba Jide, Sawoyu came and ordered that the road be repaired. Honestly, the repair being done now is a great relief to the people and we are grateful for that. I want to say with every sense of responsibility that the time being wasted are so much, but with the repair, all that will be reduced drastically, if not totally eliminated. So we are grateful to Governor Sanwolu for doing that. community. Different human and economic activities abound. News break. Events happen. No doubt a community is a world of its own. But how do people enjoy adequate reportage of happenings within their immediate environment in their own language? Community media satisfy these human needs for information education, entertainment, surveillance for the benefit of all. From Oriwusan in Ikorodu to Echo News in Ejibo, Ilupeju today, Inside Mainland, Koshofe Inside Out, Alimosho Meo, Suru Lere Watch, A Solo Voice. Government and private owned community media are performing the functions of the media at the grassroots level. Having fulfilled its role as a medium for information dissemination to the various communities in Festac, Amu Ward Dolphin local government area, dignitaries, special guests, government officials, and members from the various communities in Amu Ward Dolphin have come to celebrate a fulfilling second anniversary with Fosborn Productions publisher of Festac Weekly Newspaper. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome you to this event. This is the second anniversary of Festac Weekly. Uh, it's a privilege to be able to speak to you people, to address you in this August occasion. We are gathered for just one particular reason, and that is the anniversary of Festac Weekly. Festac Weekly is a community newspaper and it belongs to the community. And so, over the years, we have tried to sustain uh, the publication, ensuring that Festa quickly serves as an interface between the government and the community, and also news around the community. And we have done this for two years. It's a private initiative to make sure that news information is disseminated within the community. And that's what we do, and that's why we are here today. The theme of today's event is Dynamics in Leadership. While delivering a speech on the topic, the importance of community media, former Commissioner for Information and Strategy in Lagos State, Honorable Kendi Bamigbeto, calls for support of community newspaper as it provides the impetus for community growth and development. He as well urged community newspapers to improve on their online presence in order to reach numerous audience. For us to move a step further, Community newspapers will provide the major impetus for real grassroots democracy and grassroots reporting. All Nigerians are homesick and they want to do what's happening in their communities. That's why I would recommend that first start quickly to also have an online version. Many people who grew up here who have left first start in community who are all over the world want to know what's happening in first start. And any of these people may want to even support the local government when they see the efforts of what, I mean, what they are trying to do. On that note, therefore, I want to thank all of us for coming and I want to encourage us that this weekly paper is our baby. Let us do everything to make sure that this baby survives. Participants express their delight for having a medium that informs, educates, and entertains them 
by bringing activities within Festa community to the fore. The benefits of, from this newspaper is to its awareness of what is going on within their community. Other community newspapers too should emulate Festa Amu World of him weekly paper. I believe in honesty and integrity and openness. Whatever they want to come out with, let them be truthful. Let them tell people what is true. Falsehood don't help anybody. Because if falsehood starts to run for one year and truth takes over a year after, it will definitely eventually overtake it. First act quickly publication it's a publication that is uh, very useful to the community in the sense that it propagates the government program, it disseminates information to the public and even to the entire community of uh, Amuwa Dauphin local government. People want to know what is going on about FESTA. It's a good development that people, it will enrich those who live in FESTA and those who live in FESTA before and outside, they will know what is going on within the FESTA. It's a good magazine for me. I saw, I saw a copy some months ago and I'm very impressed about the information on, on the paper. The call on corporate organizations to support community media highlighted the win-win benefits. Corporate institutions around, what I would just say to them that this is your paper. If you are looking for the best place to advertise, if you are looking for the best place to reach out to your community, this is your paper. First Act Quickly is there to tell you how to make sure that your community know that you are doing business in the environment and to increase your patronage. Corporate organizations and individuals, they should come and support them. It's a good source of information. When you can advertise on magazines like this, they can be aware that, oh, there's so -so and so hospital around where I can rush my child to, or so -so and so investment where I can get something for the community, or even for myself, without going outside the local government. They, however, urge the government to support and create an enabling environment for community media to thrive. The important support is for government to know that whatever these people are saying, they are saying it religiously. They are saying it to disseminate information about the in-depth of the government, about government program to the public so as to know inwardly what government is actually doing. Every month we print out about 4,000 copies and they are given to residents free of charge and we don't get any sponsor from anywhere particularly. We get our finance from our advertisers so we are pleading with business owners around the community to patronize us. Our rates are very affordable. It's a good opportunity for them to be known by the community and then they will get more patronage. Governments, particularly local governments, need to support community media. First and foremost, with information about what they are doing and how they are serving the people. The fact that community news media is employing some people, it's also helping government to reduce unemployment. We have had community updates. That is part of uh, dissemination of information. I am privileged to be a member of the Lagos State Advisory Council, and I know what the former Commissioner for Information, in person of uh, Mr. Akain the Bamigbeton, what he has done. He even published newspapers, which carry on the government alongside with the people. So it behooves the present governor to carry out the same program. Government is continuous. Anything that is good is supposed to be embraced. Governor Sawolu should embrace the program. So there will be continuity in government. First tag, weekly. Let's put our hands together. Let's clap, let's clap. It is not about creating self-development projects in our various communities for ease of habitation. It also requires the force to take ownership of government's projects and properties in our areas. As Lagos Public Work resumed to sites to fix potholes for ease of vehicular movement, we urge you not just to use the road but also to take ownership of them. With that, we wrap up today's episode of Lagos Community Updates. Remember, you can join our social media platforms for comments and suggestions. And in case you know someone that deserves to be a community champion on our program, don't hesitate to call the numbers on your screen. I am Ade Joker, Shodan in the Adenyoju. Till I come your way again next time.